Man, I'm a VIP. I don't have to take this. Hey, your buddy's dead, but I didn't do it, so that means you're a witness if somebody asks about it later. That guard's just standing there. I don't know why. Maybe it's his job to guard the explosives from being eaten by aliens. All things considered, I think we should let the aliens eat the explosives if they want to. Ha! I flanked you. Well, I'm going to assume that because this is the most dangerous looking thing I've seen in my life, I'm going the right way. God, look at how big this thing is! This is completely unacceptable. We don't have room for this. The thing's already half buried in the floor. That's right, I bang, you bang, we all bang together. What was that Nietzsche said? He who fights drummers should see to it that in the process he does not become a drummer? Or was it monsters? I don't know, same thing, really. No, it had to be drummers. That's a monster and there's no way I'm gonna end up looking like that thing. I wonder if Nietzsche was in a band. I bet he was. I should look him up when I get out of here. I bet the songs have pretty deep lyrics. Oh! Huh, twice in a row. I feel like I should be learning something from this. And of course, the catwalk folds like cardboard, but the freaking pipes are fine. I'm awesome. Hey, there's that other ledge! If I had a hang glider, I could've just swooped down here. And that ledge, too! That would be sick! Ugh. This place frustrates me to no end. I guess the light at the end of the tunnel here is that it should be pretty easy for me to get a new job now. Seriously, the military is going to get a hard-on once they realize they have honest-to-god monsters that big to attack. The US is certain to dump boatloads into defense spending on top of what we already have. There's gonna be a lot of trickling down to research and development. Hell, I could be driving a Porsche before the year's out. Piece of crap. I guess the big danger to such massive defense spending is that we might end up as a military city-state perpetually at war with aliens. Like Starship Troopers. What's that noise? Oh, someone thinks they're smarter than me, huh? I don't need to dignify this. You don't even have a degree! Actually, your host bodies have degrees around here, but you're just latching onto that. That's even worse than one of those online degrees. You're a parasite in every way. Oh, safety bars. Knowing this place, that means somebody must have fallen in at one point. And we put up cardboard tubes wrapped in tin foil, apparently. This is so cool. It's just like Super Mario. I like Mario. It's a game that glorifies the fat blue-collar worker. People will have to learn to appreciate their station in life once I rise to power. What is this place? Oh, I hate forks like this. Because I know whichever path I take, it's going to change my life forever. Okay, did I pick the right one? I did not. Shit. Now I'm always going to be 10 seconds behind in life. That means I may miss meeting my future wife or escaping the assassin's bullet. I'll be without a throne or heir all because of this stupid dungeon. This is so unfair. I am destined for greatness. I'll show everyone. You know, it would make this whole day almost worth it if I found buried treasure here. I mean, this is the place for it to be. Either that or some bodies. Oh, cool. I didn't go in circles again. Okay. Gonna have to hook my arm here. There we go. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm supposed to be the stalker, not you. Get off my turf. Perfect. I mean, what the hell? You sneak out of a manhole and somebody's already waiting for you. I'm good. I will say, with as many grenades lying around as I've seen, I am a little surprised we haven't had a bigger accident before today. Oh, come on. Man, when I get a mansion, this is exactly what it'll be like. People will knock on the door, the butler will answer the door, blow them away with a the shotgun, then close the door. And I guess I'll need a couple people to move the bodies so they don't rot on the property. 
I can't realistically expect the butler to... Where am I? I can't expect the butler to do that by himself without dragging them, and that would mark up the floors. And if it was a really fat guy, they might need a hand trolley. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of planning involved. I'll just have to take this one step at a time. This room reminds me of that place in Star Wars where Darth Vader cuts off Luke's hand. Man, I wish lightsabers were real. I don't see why you need the Force if you have an energy sword that can cut through anything. All you need then is a list of demands. Damn, I was hoping for a maintenance shaft here. What's this do? Nothing? There's really no excuse for ha- <clears throat> Ow! Jesus Christ, that could have taken my head off! Who the fuck designed this? How are you supposed to turn that on without dying? How are you even supposed to turn it off? Is that what all these grenades are for? I guess I don't have anyone to blame but myself. You go around pushing enough buttons on heavy machinery and you end up in trouble. At least there were no witnesses this time. I mean, this is nothing compared to Woodshop back in high school. I almost got expelled over that. What? Are you kidding me? You can't open this from the inside and it automatically shuts? <sighs> I think there needs to be a sign on the outside that says please prop the door or else you'll die a slow death. I wonder if the aliens are edible. 